first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come, come on everyone Let's celebrate, we are the children of the sun I can see you when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one And we can make a difference Yeah, we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are oh now child please don't frown you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far i am a 21st century superhuman and i know that the answers are inside Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is a 21st Century Superhuman show. And today I have with me a wonderful friend named Tonson Fairmont. Tonson, how are you today? Fantastic, thank you. Yes, it's really wonderful to be here together. I love your energy. I love the way you think. I love the way you perceive our world. And you are somebody who I would call has achieved a level of mastery in this world and we're going to talk today about your journey and one of the reasons we're going to talk about your journey is because we've been living for a long time under the fiat currency system the debt system the money lo loaning and laundering systems and especially a lot of the visionaries those who dream of creating new earth and a better world and just having better lives and helping others who need assistance are looking for ways for solutions to how to have abundance how to get beyond this system which in a way is kind of an illusion so energy flows currency flows the abundance of the universe flows all the time and You've done some really practical things in this world, which you're going to tell us about, but you've also had a very amazing life, and I can't wait to hear about it. I'm really excited to hear your story, share about this today, and say how you've managed to work through what seem like some of the barriers in the, the financial system, the economic system, and in living a life that is filled with abundance, with visions and dreams coming true and, and yet as you said so many people are in bondage and have been experiencing insufficient freedom financial yes. freedom and spiritual and other kinds of freedom political legal and so on yes and we've uh, accumulated a few of the most breakthrough solutions some of the cream de la cream of solutions for uh freeing people from some of the enslaving influences on this planet yes you the have. image you see on the screen is uh brilliance and commerce which is my little company and it's here to serve you uh private placement platforms uh it's one of the uh things that we consult in house of freedom international natural law trusts we're going to talk about today to take uh people out of the uh, risk and um, enslaving systems of what has been uh, in the monetary system in the past on the planet. Yes, yes, in the past. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the things that Brilliance and Commerce does. It's a project of La Verite, which is French for the truth. Um, we have the trust is able to take people into a, a level of freedom in operating uh, their lives that many people have never dreamed of yes and it's one of the finest on the planet the liberty debt elimination system for americans um, eliminates unsecured debts uh, with an extremely high success rate 
the trust is usable by people all over the world. So for, for those nice. outside the United States, pay attention about the trust, but uh, the debt elimination system is effective for those that have debts based in institutions in the US. Great. And then we have affiliation special offers with a variety of freedom developing and financial independence programs. And we'll just say right now, I am an affiliate of yours. And um, I have a couple of under our um, programs on my website. Um, I have links to the debt elimination program and to the trust, the natural law trust. And so people can research that at 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. And they can also sign up under me to be to work with you as well. And I will show your links uh, later in the in the show. Great. So uh, you will have the links to these uh, products and services and these breakthrough technologies. Uh, we are members of the Worldwide Charter for Fair International Commerce. So you can see that on the website as well. And so uh, I'm the founder and the consultant. I've been a speaker and an author. I picked out a couple of the gems of the things that I had learned along the way and uh, began offering them and this was formed. This, Brilliance and Commerce little company with debt elimination and the natural law trust. Fabulous. And they are fabulous. And they and I work with you on those. And I'm really honor the work that you guys have done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll go into that now. I began speaking a lot on radio shows and conferences and wonderful uh, gatherings like this one during those years, 2013, 14, 15, 16. Haven't done so much lately. Actually, yours, uh, Carrie, is uh, a, a nice return to that. Um, nice. Because I've been more involved in the last couple of years with the Bank Instruments programs, but uh, it's nice right. to, to speak again on all this. Great. So this is um, important to distinguish between the United States and the rest of the world. Unfortunately, we have not developed a debt elimination system for other countries. Mm. And we have made it available to anyone from any country to convert the laws in it to the laws of their own country. So Canadians, many of them have asked people from England, people from other countries, and we say, fine, you know, take our system, find a lawyer or someone, a paralegal, someone who can find the local laws that are the equivalent of the U.S. laws on which our system is based, convert it to those laws, and then you can have it effective in that country. And somehow, some, there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of back and forth, but somehow it hasn't developed in any other country yet, even though the scam is the same. I think there's something about the laws in the United States that are more protective of the citizen only Men. that there are more consumer protection laws. That's all. okay. You think but that's mainly what it is? That's only partially. That helps, but it's not. It's not the essence of it. Mm -hmm. The essence of it is global. Uh, it's it's fraud committed by the entire international banking system. Absolutely, it's a global part of the global nightmare yeah. for sure of the old. I mean, the monetary ways. system is global. You know, mm -hmm. local countries may have their own laws, but remember what Rothschild said in the 1700s, he says, give me control of that's a right. nation's currency and I care not who makes it. Law. That's right. Yep. And that is really a powerful statement for somebody who's part of the controlling factor. But all countries can be free from taxes practically overnight by the use of the trust. So let's start with the trust. Yes. Uh, we're, we'll get into the uh, debt elimination system in a few minutes. I'm just showing some a preview, <laughs> right? Uh, just to keep everyone aware that those who are mainly interested in that topic will just have to wait a few minutes. But right. we'll, get into it. Uh, we'll start with the trust because that's universal. That's easy. That's something that anyone anywhere can use. It doesn't have a confrontational aspect like the debt elimination system does. Right. Doesn't confront the banks with fraud. It's just quietly setting up an agreement, a contract, a private contract, and moving your commerce into it. It's it's that simple. Previously, a best kept secret of the super rich, peaceful people are enjoying protected status and state of the art sovereign trusts. We are providing the best guide for that. For generations, a few thousand people worldwide have been quietly successful in what others said is impossible. We intentionally use the word peaceful because it indicates that we are not here to battle 
anyone or anything. We have been very fortunate in attracting the clients who are also peaceful. Beautiful. Uh, to our knowledge, in five decades, there has not been a single court case Beautiful. involving one of these trusts, challenging it or its legitimacy or anything like that. I can speak to the, the well-being of this process. I really like it. So for any listeners, I uh, probably would not have made it this far in this particular show. <laughs> But if there are any listeners out there who are bent on going to court and battling and fighting the darkness, this trust is probably not for them. Yes. It's for the cultural creatives, those who are into creating conscious wealth, con contributors to the golden age, are quietly transacting sacred commerce through an advanced asset protection instrument, previously a best kept secret of the super rich. And we say it's a bridge to the golden age because guess what? This is one of the only trusts on the planet that has no chance of becoming obsolete. Mm. No matter how much the world may change in coming generations and, or even centuries, the principles on which it is based are timeless. Beautiful. It's the universal right of contract, the, the, the right of anyone to go into a contract with a few other people and not be interfered with by any government. So it's a universal right. It's affirmed in US Supreme Court cases like Hale versus Hinkle that say you have the unlimited right to enter into contract without interference from the government as long as you're not harming anyone. Beautiful. Uh, but that's pretty much universal. It's, it's pretty much all countries, you know, you have that basic right. And the golden age is only gonna honor that and expand that. Great. And, and when the time comes that there are no more taxes left on the planet, you would still use the trust for the efficient distribution of assets and for efficient estate planning. Yes. You can pay bank and pay bills with it. You can enjoy freedom and privacy. It's valid in all countries. It's sovereign, international, effective, never been penetrated or invalidated in five decades, which is 100% success. And in fact, it cannot be invalidated. The most that could ever happen theoretically, hypothetically, is that if it were taken into court, the trust itself would not be litigated. What would be litigated if, if such a case were to arise would be the specific actions of its officers. Right. And so there would be a specific transaction or a specific action by its officers that could uh, grant limited jurisdiction for that particular uh, incident or event. But the... Uh, sanctity of the trust itself cannot be uh, argued or litigated. Yeah. It hasn't ever been. People who are following along can read what's on your screen because that's a really good piece of information. Tonson, just to break this down into layman's terms, let's just pretend we're all in elementary school when it comes to managing our assets. So I, as just a sovereign woman on planet Earth, could take all of my assets, even if I just have a few hundred dollars in my bank accounts, maybe I own a, um, a house, um, I have kids, but I can take my assets and put them into this trust and I can run my, uh, the experiences of my monetary life through the trust. Is that correct? Yes. It's just, just simple. Mm -hmm. You can just start doing things in the name of the trust instead of in your personal name. Right. Very simple. Very that good. way, your assets are much more protected. Um, any judgments or lawsuits or litigation against your personal name um, cannot touch the assets that are titled over to the trust. It's an irrevocable trust, irrevocable, meaning it is the strongest form of asset protection. Yes. And you could have an LLC or a business entity also inside the trust, right? Yes, the way that works is you would uh, title a majority of the assets and income of the statutory entity to the trust. You wouldn't want to put 100% of it in because that mm. would raise eyebrows and you know look suspicious. But let's say you put 90%, 95%, 98% mm -hmm. of the assets and income of an LLC or a corporation into the natural law trust. That way, that percentage of 
those assets and income are non-taxable, non-reportable. Right. And if you have a statutory entity and you want to keep it, you can keep it. You can keep operating it. It will file its tax returns and it will pay some tax. But uh, the, the trust itself does not pay, does not file, and has no obligation to do so. Right. And I also have a humanitarian organization, which I'm looking at moving into beneficiary position in my trust. Mm-hmm. You can either make it a beneficiary or you could have it be, play another role. There are other roles. The, all of that discussion about the mechanics of how it works, would, right. uh, someone would get into uh, when they read the ebook, right, uh, which is downloadable from the website. And also the uh, cons- consultation, uh, once one is a paid client, we ha- they have one-on-one consultation with right. Our trust writer. And I'm just yeah. popping these things up because I know there's people out there in our audience who would have these as questions. Anyone watching the video is welcome to stop it and read what's on the screen. Um, I just put a lot of information there for reference. Right. Um, one of the unique things about our trust is that you can be the trustee. Um, there are other trusts out there where there's no choice. You know, the organization that sells you the trust appoints a trustee for you. And it's usually either themselves or someone they choose. Um, and you just have no choice. In ours, you have a choice. You have three choices. You can either be the trustee as the client, or you can choose a trustee from among your friends, <clears throat> or you can ask us to find one for you. But we encourage most people to be their own trustee unless they're too young, they're a minor, underage, uh, or have no education, or they're elderly, or they have no interest. They don't want hands-on management. They want someone else to manage it for them. But in most cases, most, most people would like to do their own banking. They'd like to control their own assets, be the one responsible. So we show how to do that, and it's not complicated. Right. Some more details on the screen. You're welcome to stop it and read it. And yes. um, some of this is in the ebook as well. As you can see, there's a long list of unique features and benefits, and uh, those are important. At the bottom of this screen is the URL, um, assetgeniustrust.com. So for those who have been waiting for a website address, there you go, assetgeniustrust.com. And we'll put that under the video as well. And there's an 80 page ebook that you can download and read. It is for sale on Amazon, but there's no point in paying for it when you can get it directly for free uh, from the site. Would you like to go into the debt elimination information? Yeah. You can outright cancel 100% of your unsecured debt. So I unsecured love that. means it's not a mortgage on a house, it's not a car loan because those have assets that can be taken if you don't pay the debt. Now, the same principles apply. However, um, you might be at risk of losing the asset because of the International Crime Syndicate, (laughs) which has its goons. And uh, if you apply the debt elimination system to something that has an asset collateral behind it, the international crime gangsters will come and take that asset, even in the violation of law, but they, they get away with it because that's the way the system has been. However, an unsecured debt, such as a line of credit, a Visa, a MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or a student loan uh, are what we call unsecured because it's based on your signature. And that's where the consumer protection laws exist and that's where we have success. So the first thing to understand is the difference between good debt and bad debt. And you can read this if you want to stop the video, but basically um, good debt is where you have been building wealth with it. You've built up good credit. You're using the debt for investment in a business or in something that's productive. You've done it voluntarily. You're getting benefit from it. Um, You want to continue to keep that good credit. You don't want to cancel that debt. You want to play the game. And so you play the game and you play it well. Mm. So I use the the, the debt. Usually it's best in business or in uh, enterprises where you have something that's going to pay off the debt easily and quickly with a profit left over. Then bad debt is where you lost your job, 
uh, you have very little income, you have medical bills, you are in, you, you just can't survive without borrowing, uh, or you've been irresponsible. <laughs> 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 you just run up all kinds of indulgence, uh, credit card debts, and now you're stuck. You're like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, but in any case, uh, that would be bad in the sense that if you've gotten in over your head and you can't pay it off easily, now you're paying extortionate interest rates. Right. Uh, and, and it's becoming a bondage. You're, you're enslaved by it. I had somebody recently ask about medical debts. Are, do those often fit into this? Um category no, because medical debt is not money uh-huh it was services rendered for which there is a bill now there are other um, bodies of knowledge out there unfortunately i have not been able to package it and offer it through brilliance and commerce i wish that we could have if anyone has that get in touch with us mm -hmm. but it is known uh for example walter burian did the research on the CAFRs, the comprehensive annual financial reports that shows the two sets of books mm -hmm. that every municipality county and state and the feds keep uh, they have billions trillions of dollars uh, hidden uh, publicly they'll say oh we're running out of money we need to raise taxes and all that that's the public side of the books the private side which walter burian and others have proven has vast wealth that has been stolen from the people and is not disclosed and it pays hospital bills it pays for all kinds of things um, when they can't get money from the patient mm -hmm. because the patient ran up a hundred thousand in medical bills and he doesn't right. have the money right it's paid by that those hidden funds interesting so there is knowledge out there that some people have on how to access that to pay a mm -hmm. medical bill and so we it's just i'm sorry it's just an area we haven't mastered <laughs> it's okay it's good it's a good little tidbit though right yeah but the debts that can be canceled the bad debts are those that were under the federal reserve system money mm -hmm. lo loaned and put into your account whether it's a credit card or a line of credit out of thin air mm-hmm credit card or line of credit out of dinner. And, you know, I mean, many people are desperate with the, they're stressed all the time because of the debt load that they're carrying. Yep. And um, so the idea that there's, there's a possibility of eliminating that is really exciting. Mm -hmm. So real debt and fake debt, that's the next point because you have to distinguish and understand the difference. We were just talking about medical bills and so forth. Let's say your mother, uh, loans money to you. That's a real debt. Right. And it should be repaid. Your friend loans you money or a business that perhaps you bought a, an appliance from a business and that business uh, gave credit where you can make time payments on that appliance. But the business didn't outsource the debt to a banking institution. It's an in-house debt right that is a legitimate debt you owe that money to that merchant because he or she uh, you know put something out out of his own his or her own bank account right to get that appliance to you and so there is a an installment payment system in fact we have something like that at brilliance and commerce you can buy the trust on installment payments you know nice. we don't charge any interest but for people that don't have $2,500, they can pay $250 a month nice. for 10 months. Right. That's a legitimate debt. It mm -hmm. cannot be canceled because there was no money loaned. Right. It was a product delivered by the merchant. Fake debt is where people think that when Visa puts $10,000 credit on your credit card, that they had a billion dollars and they went, their account went down by $10,000 because they loaned it to you. That's the fallacy. They never loaned anything. They put a few computer keystrokes and it was created out of thin air. That's called the Mandrake Mechanism, outlined in a book called A Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Yes. Edward Griffin. Mm -hmm. We highly recommend everyone read that book if you haven't already. The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. And he talks in there, among other things, about the banking families, the Federal Reserve, how this system came to be and how the mandrake mechanism works. So fake debt is where it was loaned out of thin air. 
They have nothing at stake, nothing at risk. If you don't pay it back, they haven't lost anything, but they pretend that they will be really harmed and they come after you with all their force. So our system stops them from coming after you. Very cool. It challenges them to prove that it was legitimate debt under a list of laws, which they can't do and have never done and never will do. Nice. Yes, stress. Keep the good debt for profit, eliminate the fake enslaving debt. Nice. Student loans have been a big problem. It's one of the biggest uh, uh, plagues on our country. Mm -hmm. Uh, billions, trillions of dollars of student loans. Students graduate from college and they owe 40,000, 60, 80, 100,000. Right. Yep. Doctors, dentists, and lawyers have mm -hmm. two, three, four hundred thousand dollars student loan debts. And they, they begin their careers in debt, in deep debt. And that's exactly how the system was designed. Mm -hmm. Start them out as slaves and keep them as slaves. And you know, there's so many people I know who owe this kind of debt and um, just would never believe that they could actually, it would be okay to cancel it. They can cancel it because it's based on the same hoax, the same mm -hmm. scam, the same funny money out of thin air. And we have a hundred percent success rate because they can't defeat that. They right. have no argument, no rebuttal right. to it. So Very student good. loans also, we have been equally successful in canceling as well as credit Very card. Exciting. Here's a quote from John Maynard Keynes, the economist, by this means, the fractional reserve banking government may secretly and unobserved confiscate the wealth of the people and not one man in a million will detect the theft. Wow, that's a really amazing picture too. And then Rothschild, hello there, my name is Jacob Rothschild, my family is worth $500 trillion. That was probably back 10, 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. We own nearly every central bank in the world. We finance both sides of every war since Napoleon. Right. We own your news, the media, your oil, and your government. You've probably never heard of it. That's right. Why this is relevant to debt elimination is because families like that, who we call the cabal, the committee of 300, the 12 right. families, the Bilderbergers, the, you know, the uh, economic forum, all of these people, have been engineering on purpose for generations since at least a hundred years ago and more. Yes. Um, a banking system that pays them and deprives everyone else. Yes. And it's called the enslavement of debt. Fortunately, anything that is um, corrupt is fake and false at its basis. So it fake, can, false, and fading. Let's say that. Fading because it can be shown legally. Uh, that it, it's not real. Right. And when you can show it's not real, you can be free of it. Picture. Really? You still trust the lenders? <laughs> I'll skip over some of the fine print, but for right. those who wish to stop the video can read it. Yep. it. But here is a very powerful argument for why it should be canceled. Can and should and is being canceled for those who have used the system. Right. Testimonials, we have a number of those. Mm -hmm. uh, no need to read them all, but you can right. see that this. We have them on the website. Just click on the testimonial section. Beautiful. The website. This is important. You will actually benefit the economy by eliminating your fake. Wow, that's a really cool, positive thing to know. Because, I mean, I think I remember just living with shame and guilt and you know, oh, I'm an abomination to society you know, <laughs> um, when I had excessive debt that I didn't know what to do with. And um, uh -huh. it's because beautiful. you have a conscience, you're a good yeah. person, you have a conscience, and a right. lot of people are like that. They yeah. And I they, was drinking the Kool-Aid, I was believing the narrative, instead uh -huh. of like what you're saying here, you'll actually help the economy by eliminating your fake debt. Wow. Yeah, very cool. People think, well, I, I owe it. I mean, I should pay it, you know, right. and they're good people. They have a good heart and that's right. true. It's a legitimate debt. You should pay it. And so yep. thank you for, for that vote of confidence. But when you understand that all you're doing is supporting an international crime syndicate, right? your payments are going directly into the, the coffers of the cabal. It's not going for benefiting society. It's actually strengthening the enslaving mechanism 
you're actually contributing by making payments on those fake debts, you're actually contributing to crime and to the further enslavement of mankind. Right. So by withdrawing those payments and redirecting them to something life supporting, okay, pay your medical bills, pay, improve, do home improvement, you know, uh, sp uh, support your children, uh, send them to college, uh, go on an educational retreat or a yeah. spiritual retreat. Have or, a little freedom. Yeah, I have mean, some freedom. my husband says he couldn't even imagine when he had a wife and a child and a house payment to make. How did people actually get to go on vacation? You know, because they had so many bills. Yep. Just to survive. And just um, to survive. this is so exciting, Tonson. It really is because and when the burden of debt is lifted, you suddenly oh, you can breathe. You have some freedom. You're, you're like, right. wow, you know. This uh, has supported a parasitic system by mm -hmm. stopping the fame payment on these phony debts. You're withdrawing the your support from the parasites. And people need to unwind the story that they've been told by commerce, by the television, mm -hmm. by the public programming that mm -hmm. is being run as, you know, the, I mean, this programming was brought into our country with the Nazis after World War II, and the, the programming has been on the television and advertising. And so we've just believed that we're supposed to be performing as little rats on wheels and to like realize wheels, exactly to mm -hmm. begin unraveling this stuff and building a new belief system is so critically important the good news is you can defeat debts and taxes without fighting there is no need to fight there is no need to battle there's no need to have retaliation wow. there's no need to be dragged into any kind of a, a conflict Yes, you're putting dispute letters out on the debts that challenge the banks, and they will send rebuttal letters, which are nonsense. So that's predictable. But other than that, it's not really a battle. Right. All you do is we, we call it rinse and repeat. You just simply send the dispute letter again. You say thank you for your rebuttal, but you didn't answer my points. You didn't show, you didn't ask, you didn't provide what I asked for. Very good. If the debt is legitimate, you should sign this enclosed affidavit guaranteeing that it's a real debt and that you, you that you actually loan me the money and that if I don't pay it back, you'll be harmed. They Very won't sign good. it. They, have never, they never will. Very good. And there are other points in the dispute letter that they have to answer. They have to re rebut and they never do. They beat around the bush. They, they say, well, here's all your statements. You signed the original contract. Uh-uh. Well, guess what? a contract is rendered null and void for fraud. I'll get to that in a moment here. That's one of the, uh, <laughs> one of the court cases we base our system on. Nice. Invincible evidence. We've even been beating them in court. Very nice. few people have to go to court, but sometimes the debt has reached the 90% level. It's reached the 11th hour by the time they come to us. You know, right. So they start sending our dispute letters, but then they get sued to uh, pay the debt. So then we have a legal team to help them beat the court case. And nice. uh, we have pretty close, not maybe 100, but very close to 100% success, even in court. But nice. very few, like I said, maybe one or 2% of our people have to go to court. Just a warning that uh, don't listen to lawyers, don't take this to your typical Right. attorney and say, well, what do you think of this? Because they're ignorant. Right. They haven't been trained in this. Absolutely. Attorneys themselves need to learn from us. Right. Okay. More and more discussion about the attorneys. Don't be influenced by their ignorance. Same goes for accountants. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we mean by the 100% success rate? That's on the website and you can stop this video if you wish and read yes. that. Perfect. I'm going to uh, breeze through. There's a lot of uh, evidences here. We have examples. Right. Yeah. Student loan victory. Success. These, these are evidences. These are statements from people nice. showing the, the cancellation of their debt. Yeah. And people can stop and read these. Very good. Mm -hmm. More testimonials. Nice. 
proof from the IRS. See right there where the arrow is? It says cancellation nice. of Nice. I mean, how much more proof do you need? The IRS right. itself. And then they tried to charge the person with income tax because of the debt cancellation. How funny. <laughs> of course, there are solutions to that too. Right. <clears throat> Here it is. Fraud vitiates the most solemn contracts, documents, and even judgments. Mm. U.S. <clears throat> versus Throckmorton. So that has never been overturned. Nice. If the people only understood the rank and justice of the banking system, there would be a revolution by tomorrow. So. U.S. President Andrew Jackson, 1834. Yes. The pretender lender sued the credit card debt holder or the student loan debt holder, and they consulted our legal team. We helped them win, and the case was dismissed. Nice. <clears throat> Judgments have been canceled. Student loan victories. Nice. More testimonials. Videos. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you go to the website, you'll see a number of videos about the monetary system. Um, if you're new to this information, watch those videos. They will educate you. And I think you will feel a thrill of excitement and perhaps even ecstasy. Inexpensive, $450. Quick and easy. It's important for people to understand it's a do-it-yourself system. If we were to provide it as a service, they'd probably shut us down by tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. So you, I think you'd like us to stay in business. And the way we do that is we just provide you the information and then you implement it yourself. But we're here to hold your hand through the process. Nice. We provide all the instructions and we provide customer service in the, in the form of just answering questions along the way. If you don't believe it, see our victory letters and victory statements under proof that that elimination works on the website. If you don't understand it, read the free ebook. And for those who prefer to listen to audios while driving or relaxing, you can click on the videos on the website, even while in the car and just listen to the audio. Yes, very nice. So here's the the website is flydebtfree.com. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that uh, phrase, flydebtfree.com. Yes. F-L-Y-D-E-B-T-F-R-E-E, -E -E, flydebtfree.com. And it'll be under the video as well. Yes. So I'm going to conclude just with a few spiritual things. Beautiful. Um, global currency reset is being overseen by not just St. Germain, but a number of masters, uh, both on earth and off world. It's due to the fact that when wars happened, the invading forces such as in Iraq or Vietnam or other places went in and reduced, for example, the Iraqi dinar, which was worth about $3.50, $4, and reduce it down to like 15 cents, 12 cents. Mm. You know, so they cut the country's financial system. This is an overview of the 52,000 year cycle. As you can see where it says we are here, we are at epical dawn. And epochs go in about 12,000 year cycles. A little oh, I over. see it right in the middle of the page. We are here, two different mm -hmm. places, yeah. 12, it's actually a little over 12,000. It's uh, but we round it off, round it I, off. To it's people. funny, I show something just like this in my workshops, very cool. Mm -hmm. mm. So it just gives you the context in which these world changes are taking place. Yes, absolutely. Is that there is a frequency, a vibration of the entire solar system that rises and falls 
And when the frequency goes way down, such as an epical midnight, you have the, the flood um, in the Bible. It's known as the Noah's flood, but actually it was a flood in many, many areas of the earth, the, Atlant the sinking mm -hmm. of Atlantis. Um, you had catastrophes, you had things like that. Yes. There was a very brief golden age after that. And then uh, a movement in frequency up to where we are now. Right. And we are at the pre-dawn period or, or the epical dawn. Yes, we are. Beautiful. Scale of the evolution of consciousness. Uh, thanks to Dr. David Hawkins for contributing this, who actually created a zero to a thousand level, a series of levels where below 200, you're lacking integrity. And 200 begins integrity, and there's the reptilian brain, social brain, and prefrontal cortex shown in that I added. I added those things in with a Hawkins scale to show where they apply. Nice. Very good. And enlightenment begins at 700 and goes up from nice. there. And you're talking about that prefrontal cortex. It gets activated with the oneness program where we're beginning to use higher brain function instead of the lower survival brain functions. Mm -hmm. and this good. is facilitated by being loving. Yes. By breathing, eating. breathing and smiling. Breathing and smiling, being positive, being loving, uh, practicing forgiveness, practicing compassion. Yes. Um, practicing gratitude. Yes. This itself could be a whole show, the mandala of the curve of developing consciousness. Right. Just real quickly, you see in the center there, the origin going to the lower left of consciousness starting out as a star seed. Mm-hmm where each soul came out of the great central sun yes. of pure being out of Godhead as a spark of consciousness, a, a sort of baby godling. Mm -hmm. And then going into the cycles of time and right. down through the dimensions of existence. Mm -hmm. And when it reaches the top of this diagram, that is where the soul has completely landed in 3D density, third mm -hmm. density and is now rather asleep, has a kind of amnesia. You see how it has no line connecting it to the center anymore. That means that the perception has temporarily uh, gone to sleep about one's origin, where one came from, and one's awareness of source. In the third quadrant, over in the upper right, one begins deepening one's awareness and begins cognizing source again. Mm, nice. And in the fourth quadrant, in the lower right, between three and four, you see that that soul is now regularly becoming established in full awareness nice. while maintaining a ground, a grounding, a feet on the ground awareness of uh, the surface of things, the periphery. Right. At the same time, one's awareness is expanding back into source. So Very one's nice. feet are on the ground and one's head is in the sky. Nice diagram, like it. And at that final point, that's what we call awakening, self-realization, enlightenment. Beautiful. Two phases of world history, innocence and ignorance in the phase one, heaven provided by the environment, life in the heart. This is like the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. The soul has yet to learn. Oneness is felt but not understood. Mm -hmm. In the second phase, one came out of the, the garden and lost paradise, is now moving from the heart into the head so now there's no longer the tree of life, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Right. So there's knowledge being gained, but there's guilt also, because now one is experimenting with violation of natural law. Mm -hmm. Experience of opposites. So you have pain and pleasure, happiness and sorrow, right and wrong, black and white, all the opposites, war and peace, life in the mind, the soul is learning, 
and oneness seems to be lost. The third column there is not really a phase because it's really the beginning of eternal life mm -hmm. in sovereignty consciousness. Innocence is regained and it's combined with knowledge. Beautiful. Heaven is generated from within. Life is lived in the source. Nice. The soul has learned. Beautiful. And oneness is established eternally. Beautiful. So that's the goal. That's where saints and masters have arrived. That's where mankind collectively is headed. Yes, beautiful. That's, by the way, where my movies will be based. My mm. Cosmic Renaissance movies will be in that uh, third, endless, timeless we category. Are ready. Global Economic Security and Reformation Act, Gassara. Um, these are global things unfolding to reflect that rise in consciousness collectively. Yes. These are prophecies from Maharishi, Sri Bhagavan, the Shambhala prophecy of Buddha, mm. dawn of the sixth sun and the Aztec calendar, pillar of celestial fire, Robert Cox, mm. George Washington's vision, the end of the sinister force predicted by St. Germain, beginning of the new 52,000 year cycle as shown by Robert Cox in his book, mm -hmm. beginning of the 206 million year cycle as spoken of by Ascended Master Kuthumi, mm -hmm. the solar flash talked about by David Wilcock, mm -hmm. after the great purification uh, spoken of by the Hopi prophecies, and yes. also by Mahavatar Babaji, mm. Peter Konstantinov Dinov's, Dinov's prophecy of the cosmic electricity, mm. 21st century superhuman, spoken of by Seer Carrie Ellis. Oh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> and uh, sometime, maybe we can go more into my own experience in 1976, where I was given a time travel visit into mm. the established golden age on earth oh i'd love to do that yes we'll do that one of these days excellent this is just a quick uh slide of george washington's vision it's mm. done to illustrate what he saw an angel showed him the future Gorgeous. of the united states oh, wow. in which the united states was uh increasing in both good and bad at the same time mm. Good things developing, bad things developing, everything increasing until there's a dark cloud over the country, which was then dispersed by a blinding white light mm. that then issued in a new age. I love it. Beautiful. Chills. Quantum financial system is the new system based in quantum consciousness. It's not just yes. a computer yes. or a computer system. It is actually derived from uh, the unified field the quantum mm -hmm. field so that is actually rolling out right now it's actually mm -hmm. already here it's just that the the people working on it are trying to remove some of the last uh, dark forces that are blocking it right i'm with you on this one and mm -hmm. that's it that's uh, these last few slides these are examples of people's conceptions of heaven on earth yes uh, these are, are just magnificent images showing, uh, mm. and there are thousands of them out there. Yeah, I have just, many of these kind of visions every day. Yeah, it just shows that there are many, many people, probably millions. Yes. Maybe, maybe a billion or two. Whose consciousness are moving in this direction, who are mm. ready, who are already embodying, holding this new presence uh, in the earth realms. They're showing in their paintings an idea of perfection. Yes. An idea of peace on earth, prosperity. Yes. Harmony. Which plenty. is all I think most people really want. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all most people would choose given the choice. And we have a choice. This planet is magnificent. Yes. And if it isn't spoiled, if we live in harmony with its laws and with universal law. Yes. And we are spiritually awake. Uh, we have prosperity. We have wellness. We don't have any sickness. There's no more poverty, no more uh, uh, illness, no more war, no more crime. Right. <clears throat> those it's things, all manufactured. Those things no longer get manufactured and no longer oppress one. And, 
Right. And then living in tune with the earth and with natural law and with one's own mm. uh, divine self within. Yes. Outward manifestation becomes perfect. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there are an infinite number of different versions of it. It doesn't just come in one style. I love it. it. There are many different styles, many different forms. Delicious. Forms that it can take. Yes. Mm. they say a picture is worth a thousand words and that's why <laughs> it really is i'm uh, very much um, as soon as a sufficient financial base is built <clears throat> moving into uh, video making probably holography yes media you know because the media needs purification <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And it needs, it needs uh, globally and, and yes. it needs uh, infusion yes. with heavenly frequencies. That's one of my missions also. Yes. Without being sectarian, you know, yes. without promoting just some one ideology, but opening up the global awareness to every kind of higher uh, realization. Yes, absolutely. Tonson, this has been brilliant, really gorgeous you're very calm and your presence is very calming and very grounded and centered and the way that you share and it, it isn't going to be for everyone people who want like a quick answer, but those who come and join us in this journey and follow along they're going to get imbued with a new sense of how they can be in relationship to their own finances to their own um, economic freedom and also to this freedom as a soul as a sovereign being um, as an enlightened consciousness and um, so it's really beautiful the way that you've put this together thank you so much i really appreciate it so thank you so much um, this has just really been a precious journey i'm so glad we did this we've been kind of working up to it for a few weeks and thank you for all the work you put in behind the scenes to put this together you're very your daily meditations and practices make you a very grounded person and um, i'm honored to be connected with your journey many many thanks to you too it's very very mutual <laughs> and thanks to everyone for listening and watching and playing along with us and let's co-create absolutely yes <laughs> we'll put plenty of great links under the video and we want to remind you to Breathe, smile, and love, and live your highest path, live the journey of your heart, live the knowing of your soul. Absolutely. Okay, see you soon. Ciao. And if you're feeling kind of down, then you need some inspiration to remember who you are. And these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time